Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. In today's video we are diving into an application that is mainly uh, like a project management tool but I am going to try it out as a note-taking app and this has been something I've been doing for a while now. I have tested things like Superlist for example and I think I did one more. I'm testing out different to-do list and project management applications to see whether or not not, they can be used as note-taking applications and Trello is a visual application so this could be your visual note-taking app and that is what we are going to try to find out in this video but we are going to start off with the pricing of this because this application uh, will set you back a hundred and nineteen dollars uh, in a year sixty dollars in a year or uh, they also have a free plan and this all depends on what you actually want and need. So uh, you saw the monthly uh, plans there but on the free plan you get 10 boards, uh, you get unlimited power-ups, more on all of these later, you get 10 megabytes per file of file storage. When it comes to uh, data export, you only get JSON on these two, uh, and on the premium one, you get JSON and CSV. Main differences here is with the uh, standard plan, and that's what it's called, you get advanced checklists and uh, saved searches. This might be uh, important later. And uh, with the uh, premium plan, which is my favorite, you actually get different views. So uh, table view, timeline view, uh, which might be more important if you are more into the project management side of things. But I would at least like to have the table view for note taking. I generally, after I've been trying out Notion, or after the first time I tried out Notion, I feel like uh, the table view is uh, one of the best ways to see your notes uh, but you also get like calendar view map view uh, and also priority support as well uh, this uh, application also allows for collaborators if that is something you need inside of your application as I said, uh, this is a visual tool uh, and you get Kanban board so I've gone ahead and I have actually made one for my book notes and one for my social media which is my area and this is a resource uh, so I mainly use the para method whenever I organize inside of these applications and um, a couple of things to keep in uh, mind about this is that on the free plan you only get 10 boards so you are limited but it is hard to see uh, unless you have like a lot of projects how you ever would get over 10 boards so it is possible to use the free plan it isn't perfect it isn't close to perfect because uh, as you go you will need to archive or remove your boards uh, but uh, it is a possibility if price is an issue now let's take a uh, take a look at the note taking as i said this is uh visual note-taking application it is a visual uh it is a visual app and i will just start off with uh writing start with why which is a book i have already read uh, and that will be the first example for this video so the way this works is that you have um you have your kanban boards with different lists you can add lists i can change the name of lists um and I can drag thing back, uh, cards back and forward. I can also go ahead and I can open this card. And here I have a bunch of uh, things I can do. I can add attachments. I can add a cover. So let me actually go ahead and just add a cover. And I will add the start with Y cover here. And here I can choose between uh, two different sizes. As you can see, it changes in the background there. And I can actually add more attachments and comments as well. I can go ahead and I can share this, I can archive this, or I can actually turn it into a template as well, which isn't something other like to-do list applications uh, have uh, had the ability to do. So I can make a template out of my card. This is good if you 
use the same or a similar card quite often. So I can just press this make a template uh, and it will uh, turn into a template and I can create a card from that template. I will now go ahead and delete the whole thing. Uh, and if I now uh, write Tiny Experiments, which is a book I want to read in the future. So Tiny Experiments like this and open this up again here yet again. I can add um, a cover to this uh, by uploading a cover image. I can also choose to use one from Unsplash or one of these colors right here. Here I can write a couple of notes and what's cool about this is that it works with markdown so I can do uh, like this and I can just start writing. So let me just write test here and I could continue on like this and I can even do bullet points. I can do uh, some basic text formatting and I can go ahead and I can save this. So let's say I was finished with the book, I've taken my notes, I can actually go ahead and I can save this. I can also add dates, custom fields, attachments, quite like databases. Uh, if you've used something like Notion or even something like Excel, uh, you might be familiar with databases. I can go ahead and I can drag this as it is finished. Uh, and that is basically how note taking would be done inside of something like this. If I ever were to need another list, I can quickly add it here. Uh, and whenever I would need to, I could actually open this up and go in here and read the notes. Uh, and if I wanted to change my note, I can just press edit and I can even add attachments in here as well. So that covers the basic note taking. You can get quite creative with this because you have a few abilities, uh, but that covers the basic part of it. Uh, that's all you need to actually do note taking inside of here. Um, one big issue I found with these note taking or uh, productivity or uh, this not note taking but these to do list applications and project management applications when it comes to note taking is that their search lacks a little. Uh, so uh, I have one board right here plus uh, this one uh, right here that I showed you uh, with cards inside of them and we are going to try to search to see if we can find things so if I search for test, for example, that doesn't show up. If we go back in here, I can go ahead and I can just copy this and search for this exact thing to see if it shows up one more time like this. And it actually does. So um, it was just me not spelling uh, right the first time. So you can actually search within these uh, descriptions which are basically where I take my notes. Uh, the other way of doing it uh, is to actually take your notes right within these cards like this uh, and these are all searchable so all of these cards right here are actually searchable uh, both by uh, the title of the card but also uh, by the description as we saw. So if I search for learn how there should be a couple of things uh, that pop up and they do. One issue with this is that the search is a little slow, but on the other hand, you actually get advanced searches. Uh, so you can filter cards by board, by last updated, uh, and you can find the board here. So there are a few things you can do inside of here to do more uh, advanced searches. And that is why uh, the saved searches on the pricing plan might become important if you do a lot of searching for a specific thing. But in general, as like a um, simple, easy to use visual note taking app, if you don't need any fancy features, you just want something as simple as possible, Trello is a great option. I've tested out the web version and the iPhone application. That's mainly what I have used. 
uh, and both of them are really really good and i do recommend this application this was one of the first ones i used but mainly as a project management tool uh, you also have uh, filters here just to mention that as well but uh, in general, uh, a really good project management tool. And if you're looking for a really simple note taker, then this might actually be a great choice. I've seen people use this as a visual note taking app and I can completely understand why it isn't to the level of something like Milanote or My Mind or Scrintle or Heptabase, but it isn't trying to be any of those things either. This is much, much simpler than those tools. So if that's what you're looking for, this might actually be a great choice. As usual, thank you so, so much for watching today's video and I hope to see you again quite soon.